We're in 11.4a in chapter 11, all about volume of prisms and cylinders. We're going to talk about the volume of a sphere or hemisphere. We now have nine previous videos for chapter 11. So if any time you become lost or confused, it might be because you missed a previous lesson. They're in the description in the geometry playlist. A sphere is the locus of points in space that are a fixed distance from a given point called the center of a sphere. So right here, we have the center of the sphere, that purple dot. A radius of a sphere connects the center of a sphere to any point on the sphere. So from this center point, even coming towards us and going away from us, that would be considered the radius of a sphere. And a hemisphere is half of a sphere. A great circle div divides a sphere into two hemispheres. So right here, this is the great circle, and it divides our sphere into two hemispheres. So for your notes, this is for the volume of a sphere, the volume of a sphere with radius r is v for volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. We can find the volume of a sphere, find each measurement, and give our answer in terms of pi. So remember, our answer is going to have pi. We have our formula, volume equals 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. If we're given that the radius is 6 centimeters, well, we're going to do 6 cubed, which is 216. And we can write this whole thing as 4 pi times this 216 over this 3. And we can reduce by 3. 3 goes into 216 72 times. Now we have 4 pi times 72, which on our calculators comes out to 288 pi centimeters cubed. And we're done because we're putting our answer in terms of pi. A soccer ball has an approximate diameter of 22 centimeters. A baseball has an approximate diameter of 7.4 centimeters. So how many times as great is the volume of a soccer ball than the volume of a baseball? So let's find the volume of each using our formula. We put in our radius, if that's got a diameter of 22 centimeters and a radius is half the diameter, then we're going to have half of 22, which is an 11. We do the 11 cubed and get 1,331. We can write the whole thing as 4 pi times 1,331 over the 3. That's going to give us 5,324 pi over 3. And that'll give us approximately 5,575.3 centimeters cubed. For the baseball, if this is our diameter, half of it is the radius. Half of 7 is 3.5, and then the other 2 centimeters for that part, we have 3.7 cubed. We do that and get 50.653. We can write the whole thing as 4 pi times the 50.653 over the 3. We do the math, and we get 202.612 pi over 3 which, on our calculators, is approximately 212.2 centimeters cubed. So now, we need to figure out how many times greater this is, this soccer ball is, than that baseball, and we can use these two volumes. It's about 26.3. So the volume of the soccer ball is about 26 times larger than the volume of the baseball. Well, two hemispheres make a whole sphere. And the volume of a hemisphere with radius r is v equals 2 thirds pi r cubed. The volume of a sphere formula is v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And because a hemisphere is half of a sphere, we have 2 thirds here.
we can find the volume of a hemisphere, find each measurement, and give our answer in terms of pi. We're given that the radius is 4 inches, so we're going to put that in here as 4 cubed in our formula. 4 cubed is a 64. We can write this as 2 pi times 64 over this 3. So putting our answer in terms of pi, when we multiply the 2 times the 64, we get 128 pi over 3 inches cubed. It's the quotient of 128 pi and 3 inches cubed. Here we have a hemisphere and a cylinder with a cone removed from its interior. And the height of the hemisphere is equal to the radius. Because remember, the radius of a sphere connects the center of the sphere to any point on the sphere. So no matter what direction we go, it's going to be the radius, okay? And the cross sections have the same area at every level. So the volumes are equal by Cavalieri's principle. We learned about that in 11.2a. If you missed that, there'll be a link in the description for it. The volume of the hemisphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder minus the volume of the cone. The formula for the volume of a hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. And the volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared times height. If we subtract this one-third from this one, so there's technically a three-thirds here, isn't there? There's like an invisible one. That would give us the two-thirds. And the height of the hemisphere is equal to the radius, so we can say instead of h, we could put an r there, and that's our r cubed. We can actually prove that the shaded cross-sections have equal area if both have radius and height of r. So here we have a radius coming from the center of the circle to the here. Here we have a radius going from this center point of this base to the edge. And the cross section of the hemisphere is a circle with a radius of the square of r squared minus x squared. It would be the square of r squared minus x squared. So its area is a equals pi times r squared minus x squared. And the cross section of the cylinder with the cone removed has an outer radius of r, right up here, see that? And an inner radius of x. So the area is, a for area, is equal to pi r squared minus pi x squared. And we can pull that pi out and put it out here on the parentheses, can't we? And we can say pi times radius squared minus x squared. So just remember the volume of a sphere with radius r is twice the volume of a hemisphere because two hemispheres make a sphere. For the second part of this lesson, 11.4b, we're going to talk about the surface area of spheres. Then we're going to move on to chapter 12, which is all about circles. So as I usually say, please put these formulas for the sphere and the hemisphere somewhere in your notes that is easy to find so that you can use them. And keep trying, keep going, and I'll see you next video. Bye.